Well, hey, good morning to you. Uh, we are in central Portugal, uh, just out on a farm, actually, taking a walk. Uh, this is a vacation my wife planned for us, and I think a farm was a good call. <laughs> it's nice and relaxing out here. Uh, but anyhow, I decided to get out and take a walk and get a little filming done because there's something kind of pressing uh, really going on in the ammo industry uh, right now. And ultimately what you have is you have, you know, the ammo shortage ended. Uh, the ammo shortage from 2020 ended, of course. And a lot of finger pointing going on on what happened. You know, the biggest explanation would be that uh, people just freaked out and went out and bought a lot of ammo because they were worried about what was going to happen. A lot of new gun owners out there freaked out and went and bought guns and ammo for their new guns. And in the end, uh, that's the major cause. But, you know, the ammo industry itself has some blame there because they were obviously caught off guard. Obviously caught off guard. You know, because now what they have is they've amped up production, you know, where they're running three shifts every day, seven days a week. And they've probably slowed that down since, but the reality is that they definitely weren't ready. That's for sure. Well, the reason for this video isn't to share that. That's old news. The reason for this video is to talk about what have they done to promise us that this won't happen again? Because recently, what came out of uh, Vista Outdoors, the largest ammo producer, civilian ammo producer in America, uh, if not one of the biggest civilian ammo producers in the world, came out and ultimately said that they can promise us that that would never happen again. Well, how are they going to do that? I mean, you know, because it's easy to say when there's not hundreds of millions of people panic buying ammo. But in the event there was hundreds of millions of people panic buying ammo, uh, how can they make this promise? Like, how how is this even possible? Well, according to Vista Outdoors, what they've done is they've essentially created a system where not only are they working around the clock, uh, 24 hours a day producing ammo, but they have the capacity to double that. Now, obviously they don't double <clears throat> time. <laughs> so what does that mean? Well, ultimately what they're saying is that there's all sorts of, like they've, they amped up production so big that they've had to scale it back quite a bit. But all that, all those capabilities are still there. So the capacity to produce the ammo necessary for another run on ammo, so to say, is there. Um, so in other words, what they did was they created during the ammo shortage um, industry that can run around the clock, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Uh, they bought more machines, built bigger factories, um, hired more people, that sort of thing. And then because of that, uh, then they scale back. Uh, which makes sense, and that's where they're at now. So now they can go right back into that at any given moment. The difference is between then and now is then they didn't have that. Then they had maybe one eight-hour shift making ammo um, in a much in much smaller facilities and with less equipment, that sort of thing. Uh, so now they're ready for that sort of thing again, where they weren't before. Uh, but the other piece is the, the, the components of the ammo. Um, according to this outdoors, uh, they have more than enough components on hand. 
to go through another event like that without having any hiccups. So I think that's really, for me, <clears throat> the piece that I was hung up on was, well, you can have all the machines you want and you can have all the people you want, but if you don't have the components, you're not making any ammo. So <clears throat> there you go, according to Vista Outdoors, plenty of facility, plenty of components, plenty of manpower, and most of that stuff just sitting around waiting uh, for a moment like 2020 to hit again. Uh, so hopefully we don't see that, but in the event we do, sounds like Vista Outdoors is prepared. Now, on a side note, that's all great, but Vista Outdoors is for sale. <laughs> so uh, everything I just said, just throw out the window if somebody else buys it. So. I don't know, uh, not feeling very comfortable with the ammo situation, mostly because of that sale procurement. Um, now, I know that they've been courting out of country investors, uh, which I've openly spoken out against. And luckily, what we have is we have uh, many, many, congressional heads uh, try to put a stop to that too um, you know Vista Outdoors is going to sell I think it just needs to sell to a, in the US um, they need to sell to somebody in the United States so just my two cents so there you go any thoughts or insight on any of this stuff uh, definitely put it below but right now it's looking good if they sell throw all that stuff out the window in my opinion <laughs> So again, any thoughts or insight on any of that, definitely put it below. I uh, do want to take a second and say that most people watch this channel, they're not subscribers. Click that subscribe button. Greatly increases the algorithm and our ability to get these messages out. That link is below. The most important part of this channel, we take prayer requests. I never hesitate to send that in. Thank you for watching this episode of God Family Guns. And as always, love God. Love your family. Love guns.